the diamond, Jacoby Ellsbury, making the debut. I put him in center field, and I moved Crawford back to his original spot in left. I still got Reggie Jackson on the team. Just put him on the bench. Guy doesn't hit that well against lefties anyway. Man, this guy is nasty. I don't know if it's just me, but this guy is filthy ridiculous, man. He got the good contact, the good vision. Look at the power, man. 94 power versus righties. The good fielding and reaction. The only thing bad about this card is the arm strength and the arm accuracy. That is it. Plus the 96 speed. I don't know how people don't think that this may be one of the best outfield cards in the game at the moment. I had him in the leadoff spot just to see what he can do in the leadoff spot. Move Crawford down to the second spot. This guy is pausing. Maybe shit his pants after he saw that Jacoby Ellsbury. Probably not. But if he did, he went to change his undergarments. He returns to the game sitting on one pitch and one pitch only. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Ellsbury is giving out lessons on how to make a good first impression. The first pitch of the ball game. He crushes it to right field. Man, that is what I am talking about. This guy is going to be is going to be a good addition to the outfield and just to the team. Don't really know whether or not I should leave him in the leadoff spot and then leave Crawford in the number two spot. There's no chance in hell I'm moving Crawford down below the number two spot. And if I take Ellsbury out of the leadoff spot, that's the same thing with him. I'm not moving him down past the second spot. So I'm going to have that nasty one-two punch at the beginning of the lineup, regardless who is leading it off. And, I mean, I mean Jesus. He goes out there in his first at-bat, first pitch of the game, sends one deep. The guy is already going, getting a good start. I had Jose Fernandez on the mound. Finally, man, like, what the hell is even going on? This is only the third... I think this is only the third game I've been able to take the hill with him since I've gotten him. That was about a week ago. And this guy also had Nolan Ryan on the hill too. So this game looked like it was going to be very good on paper. You saw all the players he had. Donaldson going down on the K to end that inning. So getting off to a good start. This guy too, man. This fucking guy. Every single guy. I'm not even joking. Every single one of his bastards in the lineup were batting over... 450 except for the except for like one or two guys everybody was batting over 450 I think I said 450 but it was 450 and yeah when I came into this game and I saw the first couple guys batting over 450 and shit like that I was like this motherfucker is easily or is is either the best to ever step foot on an MLB the show game or he is the conquest king because I was, I almost shit my pants coming into this game. I was like, this guy is going to come out here and wipe the fucking floor with my face. I thought he was going to kick my ass. But after that first inning, Fernandez was able to get um, two Ks, I think it was. So I got off to a good start. And then once I kind of settled down a little bit, I was like, all right, this guy may be the Conquest King with every single one of his guys batting in the 400s. And he had all the flashback guys too, like Batista right here is, that's the flashback Batista. And he also had the flashback Reggie Jackson. He had, he had, he just had a shitload of guys, man. Tony Gwynn, Prince Fielder. This was going to be a good game and I was hoping that it would come down to the wire. I always like when you play teams that are even to yours because sometimes if you have a slight, even a, just the slightest better team than somebody and you go out there and win, Somebody will always make the excuse, well, you had a better team than them, so that's why you won. So it's always good, in my opinion, to play people with even teams on you. That way, nobody can complain about anything. But still, people will find a way to complain about something. I was getting off to not the best start against Nolan Ryan after that homer from Ellsbury. I wasn't even able to get a hit after that. Getting some good contact, though, with Royd Junkie. He is back in the lineup. I just hit my mic. Again, I hope that wasn't a big fucking sound right there. Fernandez making good contact. Every single time he's come to the dish, too, that he's been pitching, he has gotten good contact on the ball. I don't even think I've struck out with Fernandez yet. 
Ellsbury up at the dish for his second time in this game. Okay, don't hate me. Do not hate me. I apologize. I just wanted to test out if Ellsbury had a good bunt and if he could run. That was just a trial. Do not hate me. I, I will never bunt with Ellsbury again, I promise. That was just a trial. I wanted to see if this guy could lay down a good bunt, and then I wanted to take off with him to second, but unfortunately, that didn't work out, so the bunt was good, but stealing second, not so much. I get thrown out. I think his stealing is only like 75 or something, which I have no idea why it's that low. His stealing on his prime card should be at least 90. At least this guy was stealing bases left, right, and center for years. I don't even know how this is, or this card has such uh, low stealing. His rookie card has really good stealing, like 96. And I said in the last video, too, that I was thinking about getting his rookie card until I found out that he had to hit five triples with the guy. And triples aren't easy to come by, so I really didn't want to pick up his rookie card and try and struggle to do that shit. So I just picked up his prime either way. Next inning now in the fourth. Crawford is leading it off the one the second of the one-two punch I was waiting on something up in the strike zone, but he throws me a change up So I was like all right throw me something off speed again. I was sitting on it Crawford is the opposite field king another king on the team Crawford is easily the best guy slapping it to the opposite field and that's honest to God, 90% of Crawford's hits go to left field. I don't even remember the last time I pulled something down the right field line with Crawford. Everything is to the left side of the field. And it's almost, yeah, it's almost gotten to a point where I try and do that like I've said before. Because if he just hits a weak dribbler to the left side of the field, then he is going to run that shit out 100%. Yogi Berra, the guy can't be stopped. This was a very good at-bat, man. Yogi sending one down the right. Oh, my sweet Mother, that was close, man. That was like an arm length away from being easily an RBI double. Possibly two runs would have scored. But this was a very good at bat, man. I made him throw at least, at least 15 pitches in this at bat. At least. And this guy's pitch count was very high at this point in the game. Was they have like 60 something pitches in the fourth inning? I was making this guy throw a lot of pitches, probably getting a little bit frustrated on the mound. That's usually the case when you're out there throwing a shitload of pitches. I have no idea what the hell was going on there, man. I told Donaldson to take off as soon as ball hit the bat. And he fucking went back to third base, took about five seconds before he even went home. So I end up blowing it. You blew it again. And I get thrown out at the plate. So going into the bottom of the fourth, this guy still has a goose egg, a donut on the board in the hitting category. And the first guy's are getting out this inning, so two down now with Donaldson back up at the plate. He is just flying out to Ellsbury right there with that 90 field, and he is not going to make any errors. So going into the top of the fifth, I mean, yeah, top of the fifth, Fernandez was doing work on the mound, man. So I wasn't worried about this guy coming back in this game at all. I just needed the one-run lead, even though I had a two-run lead. That's all I needed because Fernandez was doing work on the hill. Hanley fouled the one off and then sending one deep. I thought this was going to be gone for sure. That isn't even close to the warning track. So, Roy Junkie, back up at the dish. You can pretty much see the fucking syringe sticking out of his right ass cheek from the roids. He is also sending one deep, but that is not even to the warning track as well. So, Fernandez back up at the plate. This is the first time. I've gone down on K's with Fernandez yet. That is pretty bizarre that I've had. Well, I've only this is only the third game I guess I've pitched with him, so he hasn't even had that many at bats. Probably only his seventh or eighth at bat for the team, but still, he was he was yeah still do work on the mound, man. Fielder is up at the plate. You got to be careful with this guy. Always got to be careful pitching to that flashback fielder, especially up in the strike zone. But I'm able to get him right there up in the strike zone on the flyout in foul territory. Donaldson gets that easily. Bautista is striking out in the dirt, so I'm still wheeling and dealing with Fernandez, man. Two down in the bottom of the fifth. One, two counts. That is a nasty pitch right there, man. Nasty slider. He has a nasty curveball as well. The junk is just ridiculous on that Fernandez right there. Ellsbury lead it off. This guy pauses again, so I was like, okay, don't tell me. Do not tell me this bastard is quitting. This guy left the game. What? What do you even have to do to keep people... Bruh! Bruh! 